So I'm just looking at this mobility scooter. I took the rear off. Here's the motor, drive motor. Looks like the axle goes straight through the motor. Obviously, that's the gearbox or differential, whatever you want to call it. That's the electronic brake. It's like a solenoid that slows the machine when that solenoid operates. So that's just a coil of wire, which got a micro switch on it as well. If you have a look there. Got that little marker switch. Get my tool properly. Anyway, never mind. There. And then when you operate the, the lever here, obviously that turns that marker switch over on or off. So, you've got two wires going down to that from here. So that's Obviously positive E negative, one wire goes through the switch and your yeah, positive E negative for your motor. So I'm just going to test them two here and see what sort of readings we get. And this is a good motor so I'm just learning myself on these. There you go, got a reading, 54 ohms on the first two, the top two terminals on this one, which are for the brake, the solenoid of the brake. And then, if we operate this lever, we should be checking the mark switch as well, so I'll just film it while I do that. So, the brake's good and the mark switch is good. So, just chuck these over and read the motor coils. So that's uh, 0 0.4 ohms. I was expecting a bit more than that, but I don't know. I'm, I, I don't. I got an experience to say if it's bad or good. Well, I know it's a good motor because I've, I've rode the machine, so it must be a good reader. So that's it. Tested the brake and the motor windings.